McDonald's is the best fast food establishment in the world. They use 100% real and authentic ingredients in their products. That's real chicken in their chicken nuggets. Everything else you hear is straight up lies and propaganda. See? Ronald McDonald isn't laughing at you, but rather with you because everybody has a bright big smile on their face. That's sexy. Hey, it's just Kevin. This is the ultimate, definitive, 100% factually logically objective fast food tier list presented by me, a medical doctor. See, I have, I have this thingy. It makes me more than qualified to give medical advice. You can trust me. Let's begin. Burger King, the whole menu just screams gas and pressure. Half the time your burger's overcooked, like they really want to emphasize the char in the charbroiled burger. Seriously, you'll be popping a gas X by the time you're through with your meal. The only king this king is of is you. In and Out Burger. Now, a few years ago in my area, people went ape shit when they found out In and Out was coming to town. It's the best burger. I used to drive all the way out to Cali to get this burger. It's simply better than sex. I think this place is overrated. The fries suck, they wear dorky hats, and the burgers aren't anything special. Unless, I guess you get them jungle-fied or wild or whatever the secret code is to put grilled onions on them. I don't know. Look. I have enough trust issues already, and the last thing I need is my local burger joint keeping secrets from me. Dog water. Wendy's. I gotta admit, the burgers at Wendy's don't really impress me. I don't know, maybe it's because they don't toast their buns. That just doesn't slap right with me, you know? But luckily, they have a pretty diverse menu. They have healthier options like salads and baked potatoes. I appreciate that. They seem to be considerate of the consumer's health. And if you look at Wendy herself, you can see mom spelt out at the bottom. And I love you, mom. I'll file this under competent. What a burger. Best burger, bar none. And I'm not saying that because I'm from Texas. And the ketchup, the ketchup. Like I can't even describe it. It's like the definitive ketchup. It's, it's, it's what all ketchup strives to be, you know? I, I just can't describe it unless, you won't understand how good it is unless you've tried it, okay? You just won't understand. It's the gold standard. It cures depression. It simply makes life worth living. And that's pretty damn sexy in my book. Jack in the box. A bit of a jack of all trades. Burgers, tacos, even teriyaki chicken and egg rolls. One thing I will note is their nighttime menu. The best way I can describe it is aggressively experimental. Spicy nacho chicken sandwich, stacked grilled cheeseburger, exploding cheesy chicken. Why stop there? Next they'll be like, oh, you want a nighttime snack? How about a cheeseburger dipped in melted cheese, stuffed with jalapeno cheese poppers, stuffed with more cheese, and why don't we slap on some macaroni on top of that for your fat ass, and we put some onion rings on top of that because you need a little bit more flavor. How about we put two tacos in the box for you and throw in all the fries. Just throw it in there. Have fun with your inevitable GERD nerd. Other than that, it's fairly competent. Arby's. Some people say this place is crap. It probably is. Yeah, their roast beef looks rather suggestive, but I like it. And you know, there's a lot of things that people hate and I love, like Creed and Nickelback. They're awesome, and so is Arby's. I don't care. Five Guys. If it seriously takes five guys to make a burger, that's a red flag. Maybe even five. Fail. Pizza Hut. It's Pizza Hut. It's just bare, basic-ass pizza. I, I don't know how else to describe it. I mean, the, the pan crust is pretty good, I'll give it that, and I like pizza, so maybe I'll put it in better? Sure. Before we go any further, I'd like to thank today's sponsor, my wallet. Yeah, my wallet, it's got a whole two dollars in it, and three maxed out credit cards. So get my wallet today! No, I, don't get my wallet, it's my freaking wallet, I mean, there's not much money in there anyways, I mean... That's it. Domino's. One thing I admire about Domino's is they seem to acknowledge that I'm broke. They have so many coupons and deals to make pizza affordable for people like me. But it does suffer from the same problem as Burger King. Indigestion is inevitable. 
I guess when you weigh those two things, uh, Domino's is just competent. KFC. Original recipe chicken is pretty damn good, and the sides aren't too shabby either. But what's up with the commercials? Why are there so many incarnations of the Colonel? Every celebrity has played him at this point. This is f***ing fried chicken, not Doctor Who! Competent, I guess. Popeyes. Now this is chicken with sass. It's got flavor, it's got spice, it's got some culture. It's even got some bomb-ass biscuits that you can slap some honey on and mmm, that shit's good. Love that chicken from Popeyes. It's awesome. Raising Cane's. Chicken tendies. That's it. That's all there is. And you know what? They're very good at it. But why do their greetings gotta be like, Hickin' lickin', want some fried chicken? How am I supposed to respond to that? Yippity yay, yes I may. Zippity do, yes I do. Clickety clack, cut me some slack. Just for that, they're going in dog water. Their mascot's a dog, so it's only fitting. Chick-fil-A is a cult. I'm convinced. Their employees are way too nice. They're all like, it's my pleasure. Is it though? Is it? Also, why are you making me go to the front counter to refill my drink? Why can't they put the drink machine out in the dining area, like every other fast food joint? Is it just another excuse for them to say, It's my pleasure. And it seems like they have the whole town converted! Outside of the restaurant looks like the planet Saturn on most days. Except Sunday, of course. The whole establishment just makes me feel, Ew. I don't care how good their sandwich is. Even though it's pretty good. Panda Express. Why? When you have an authentic Chinese restaurant just down the road. A thousand times better. Just call in and pick it up. Be honest, you just go there because they have a drive-thru and it's convenient. No, their orange chicken is not better. <laughs> Failure. Subway. When you're too lazy to make your own sandwich. Seriously, you can make three footlongs for the price of one. Ew. Unless you're really into that Jared Fogle diet. He's probably getting plenty of footlongs as we speak. Panera Bread. For people far too bougie for Subway, you're gonna be spending a fortune on that bread bowl and pomegranate tea. Ew. Taco Bell. This place is... interesting. It has a kind of dual nature, believe it or not. During the day, it's a diarrhea factory. It's shittier than sh**. But at night, it becomes an entirely different beast. You know when you get off work late or you're high as f and there's no place open? They're open. And all of a sudden, the food just becomes better. Suddenly, you start to appreciate those cinnamon twists and that Baja Blast. I don't know, it's, it's an interesting bit of phenomena. It's like a, a reverse Fiona. Daytime Taco Bell is a fail. Nighttime Taco Bell is fairly competent. Last but not least, Taco Bueno. This place is what you think Taco Bell is. The tacos are actually good. The nachos are bomb. <laughs> And they have coupons to make it just as affordable as Taco Bell. That's pretty f***ing awesome. Thank you for watching my video. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification. And if you want to see more of my content, here's my next video right here.